Nachdenkseiten. It was a story first told by former Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett that that both sides were really close to the end, to the the successful end of the, of the negotiations, and then Prime Minister Boris Johnson interfered and stopped uh, Ukrainians, prevented Ukrainians from from signing signing the deal. And then uh, Ukrainian representative Arahami kind of confirmed it that. Yes, he said in, a, in an interview that, that there was some kind of advice from Boris Johnson to, uh, to stop ne negotiating and to win this war militarily. Where is the myth? Where, where is the truth? Relatively late in the game, um, the Ukrainians began asking for advice uh, on where this thing was going. And it became clear to us, uh, clear to the Brits, clear to others, that Putin's main condition was buried in an annex uh, to this document that they were working on. Mm -hmm. And it included limits on the precise kinds of weapon systems that Ukraine could have after the deal, such that Ukraine would basically be neutered as a military force. And there were no similar constraints on Russia. Russia wasn't required to pull back, Russia wasn't, re wasn't required to have a buffer zone from the Ukrainian border, wasn't required to have the same constraints on its military facing Ukraine. Um, and so uh, people inside Ukraine and people outside Ukraine started asking questions about whether this was a good deal, and it was at that point that it, that it fell apart.